I'm gonna wait till the uh, idle stabilize. Now I can let go the gas. It's 10:14. Right now it's reading close to 80. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to see, but uh, a little less than 80. Now it's going down. I'm gonna have to look it up later on. Okay. So now that's uh, cold. going to put down yeah I'll put down 80 minus PSI hello everyone welcome back to the channel it's another experiment so right now I've just got a data collected which is cold idle first start up I want to know exactly how much oil pressure I have which is less than 80 psi yeah I could not really uh, see it I have to uh, lean down or something but uh, once I uh, looked it up on the uh, on the clips I will be able to pinpoint how much exactly the oil pressure will be and the next data that I need is the uh, normal operating temperatures which is when the uh, thermostat open and the cooling fan is turned on and that will be next so uh, this will be normal temp right now it's 10 20 and it will takes about 15 minutes or so to get that cooling fan to turn on and while we are waiting for this uh, cooling fan to turn on let's go to the bench and I'll explain to you what I got going on on today's episode so this is what I got going this is today's episode is trying to figure out if the oil filters using a smaller oil filter will affect the oil pressure I just did the oil change on this one last night and right after I was just browsing around on my car groups that I was joined in on Facebook and you know just I want to see what's going on see what people talking about you know checking out somebody else's build and everything and I ran into this uh, person that uh, I read his questions that he have some problem trying to fit in an oil filter on his H22 using the normal yeah regular oil filter because he changed his intake manifold to a skunk too I have mentioned to him that I was using a much smaller oil filter which is from MDX and that's what I use I usually stock all of these oil filters here in my garage I just use whatever I have these two I always interchange these two whichever I don't have then I'll use the other not knowingly right after I have made a comment that I was using this and it hit me like a light bulb <laughs> so man that will be a good idea let's go find out if this thing is affecting the oil pressure being it's a much smaller as you can see the size this is a little bit taller medium and much smaller I think this one would not have any problem fitting on there this one here ever since I built that motor this is what I have been using the MDX Odyssey I'm gonna refrain collecting data on this one it's because we already knew 
how much oil pressure I put out using this. This one goes to about 90 PSI and idle. Yeah, we I already got some data on this one. So it's pretty interesting to uh, to put this on. This will be next. I know some of you will probably be asking by using this that the VTEC system will be affected. Uh, not so. I have been using this, like I said, ever since I built this motor and the VTEC system kicks in fine on this one. Have no problem with this one, using this. Now, I really have one question in my mind and something that I cannot test. That is the oil volume capacity on this one. On how much oil is actually being put out in a cylinder head. Like this one here. This is for the Civic. This is designed to be used with the oil that is much thinner than this one. This one is for 020, I think. And this is for 530, 1030, and 1040. And this one is for like 530, 540, or something like that. Anyway, maintenance manual are very specific. That they're only asking for the temperature and only at idle which is minimum is 10 psi at 3000 rpm minimum is 50 psi so right after the cooling fan turns on i can go ahead and bring it to about 3000 rpm and i can get the data that i need which is the minimum is 50 psi And with that cooling fan kicks in, I think that will solve my engine temperature of 176 degrees. So that's what the, the data that I need. Next is 3000 RPM. And that should cover it. The cooling fan just kicked in. And once it shuts off, then I can go ahead and get the information about 32 yeah this thing is in an angle and it's hard to see I have to lean uh, sideways just to see it I'm gonna put down 30 30 plus all right or I'll just go ahead and call it 30 2 psi is not gonna make any difference 30 plus next is 3000 rpm almost 80 I'm gonna have to look it up later on it's like 80 or I'm gonna put down 80 minus like I said I'm going to look it up once uh, I'm editing this uh, video okay then I can put down provide the numbers the precise number let's go take her out so all I need really is a short burst all right it's gonna be hard for me to look at the uh, oil pressure at the same time that I'm uh, on a high rpm so I'm just gonna have to look it up when I'm editing this video
2,000 RPM right there, a port gear. And by looking at it, it looks like I'm well above the 50 minimum BSI requirements for Honda. All right, let's go home. Okay, we are home. the mileage and right now about 25 yeah that's yeah, about 25 yeah and it's now it's going down now it goes down okay it's well about 20 so I think uh, I can put down, I'll put down 22. Yeah, right now it's about 22. So it's 22 PSI. And this is uh, after run, high speed run. Now let's bring her in. So what's next is put that small oil filter. But it's not going to happen today. I have to wait for the oil temperature to go back to like cold condition. That way I can get a good or a better, a precise reading when everything is back to normal cold condition all right later this is the next day like i said i want to make sure that the uh, oil is at ambient temperature everything is on normal temperature and I'm about to uh, put this oil filter this is the uh, the civic I just need to put a little bit of oil, oil in it. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who have my cries and watch me weep I love that first Okay, there's plenty, it's right on the uh, first hole Did I say something about the uh, what I did on this dipstick? Yeah, I have to cut about one and a half inches up from here and also the stick itself it's because of it's hitting the bonnet so what I did after I have cut the right amount the correct height that I wanted and I also cut the dipstick enough for this to sit all the way down then I filled it up with oil pulled it out and then locate where the uh, oil uh, sits at and then that's where I put the uh, the new uh, indicating hole
I need to hold the uh, accelerator till my AFR goes normal and I'm going to take the uh, reading after it's it's stabilized a little bit or wait like a minute just like the first time which is 1107 all right it's normal now I can let go the gas and I'm going to wait just a little bit all right that's all eight before I take the reading okay right now 75 yeah it's roughly 75 or so remember the first one right there it was 80 minus so I would say like 74 you know what I'm gonna change the color on this one I'm gonna turn it to green that way we will know that I'm using the small uh, oil filter okay I say about 75 or 74 something like that I'll put down 74 fan is on I'm gonna wait till it shuts off then I'm gonna go get the reading it's 11.29 okay the fan is off I have to lean sideways so it's 30 yeah it's 30 just like this one here Like 78 or something yeah I got 80 minus here so I think it's the same yeah this is 78 I'll put a question mark on it I'm gonna look it up once I'm editing this video so I'll put down 80 minus on the mileage and oil pressure I think it's about 25 now it's going down to about 22 okay I got all the data that I need and this is the uh, the last run this is for uh, 2017 Honda Civic uh, oil filter once I look up the video clips then I'll be able to uh, precisely know how much oil pressure and I am going to highlight it 
got all the numbers this is the uh, preliminary uh numbers that i got and this is after i have looked it up on the video clips and everything all the numbers are pretty good i'm only shy about uh two or four psi like this one here i'm a little bit short it could use two psi right here three psi these are the same at 3000 rpm which is the honda service manual specs the minimum is only 50 psi so i'm well above the minimum requirements and the two are the same and this is after my uh, high speed run at idle which is basically it's the same thing on uh, 3000 rpm this is just a bonus you know like under load so fourth gear 78 psi i'm getting 72 on the civic which is i'm short about uh, it could use another 2 psi and at 7000 rpm right there so i could use 4 psi the vtex system kicks in basically the same thing so i'm pretty much like satisfied meets all the uh, honda service manual specs as far as the lubrication specification so it's perfect all right final thoughts so what do we have learned other than getting the data that i have just collected which is pretty darn close man yeah i'm glad i did this little experiment it's a good information for me because i've been using the smaller oil filter all along ever since i built that motor not just this engine so as the other engines that i own <laughs> but uh yeah uh other than collecting data now we know that we could use an alternate oil filter especially if you walk into your auto parts store and they run out of the regular one you can use one of these this is for uh 2004 mdx acura and also odyssey you have seen it you should not have any problem as far as the questions of you know like all starvation on the motor at high rpm because i did the uh <laughs> experiment right here right so no worries man and for some guys that own a type sh block and for some people that just about to wanted to use a type sh block and you happen to change or you wanted to change the intake manifold with a skunk too but you don't want to run into the same problem like the other guy that I ran into Facebook that he was having some problem fitting a regular oil filter on there there's an alternate but you decide okay uh, I'm not saying go ahead and use it but you should not be worrying about any questions as far as lubrication because it meets the Honda specs right here I have the data right here and also, uh, I have another oil pressure uh, episode that's coming up. But before I can do that, uh, I felt something about the steering. It's a little bit loose. The car is going all over the place at high RPM. So I was thinking maybe some uh, a tie rod is loose or something. Some ball joints or something. Uh, I have something that I need to look up. I need to jack it up. And uh, you, you will see it. If it's uh, something important uh, that everyone must know, uh, even though it's a simple tie rod, you know, uh, it'll be a good episode to at least share it to you guys. Now, everything is covered and you know the deal, right? Uh, I was going to say, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that like button and turn on your notification bell. Share it. See you next time. Babron. Yep. All good. <laughs>